Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, it's going to be all about IBM's first portable PC, the PC Convertible. And here in this big bag here, I have a PC Convertible that was gifted to me by the Obsolete Geek. We tend to trade computers back and forth with each other, so this is one that he sent me. I sent him one in return. So beyond that, you see a big case here. There is also a portable case for the PC Convertible that you see here. No surprise, this actually has a Compaq LTE in it right now. But uh, this bag came from Computer Reset in Dallas, Texas, which is another infamous place in the retro world. But the real reason I wanted to do the video today is I got a package here from the Texas Nerd House that contains memory upgrades for the PC Convertible. So what we're going to do is go ahead and upgrade it. Right now it has 512K of memory, and we're going to bump it up to 640K. Let's get right to it. So here you can see I've gotten the uh, PC Convertible out of its case, uh, sitting here on the table. The first thing we're going to do is power it up, because if I've learned anything through sad experience, before you start fiddling with something, you should make sure that it actually works before you take it apart. So we'll go ahead and power this on here. Hopefully you can see the screen. It's counting up its memory right now. And it's made it all the way up to 512 kilobytes. But we want to take it even further. We're going to take it up to 640 kilobytes, as I noted. So there it is booting up. Unfortunately, I do not have a clock battery for it. So it is what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit F1 to continue. And we can see it boot. Now this PC convertible has a 720 kilobyte drive here and a 720 kilobyte drive here. And that's what we have for storage. There might have been some add-ons that were available for it, but I don't have any of those add-ons and it's kind of hard to find them. So that's what we have from storage. And I've got it set up so it boots up into menu works. And then from there, we can do different things like play some games and do pretty much anything else that you can fit on a 720 kilobyte floppy disk. So there you have it. But the good news is it looks like it's powered up and it looks like it's working. So let's go ahead and get that memory installed. So we'll go ahead here and open up the box from Texas Nerd House. I think we're going to be in for a real surprise. Sometimes you buy things off of eBay or from somebody and they're secondhand. This is new old stock. Look at the condition of this box. Isn't that amazing? Wow. So I'm almost hesitant to open it, but I want to upgrade the machine. So with great care, we're going to open it. I actually have two of these, both 256K modules. I only need one, but when you find something rare, you buy two. That's my rule. So we'll go ahead and we'll open it up and have a look inside the unboxing of a 256 kilobyte memory card for the PC convertible. Oh, wow. Look at this, we even have an instruction guide that came with it here, which shows you exactly how to open it up. Looks like there's a couple of different things you're supposed to do. The first thing you're supposed to do, it looks like, is pull the clock battery. I don't think ours is alive, so that's probably not a problem. Then from there, you use a, a coin, or I guess a screwdriver, to pop up these two tabs. And that opens up the keyboard. And then under the keyboard, you can go ahead and put your memory modules. And the way that it works is they just kind of stack in there. We'll see it in a minute. And from there, they lived happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed the story. So that's the rest of it there. We'll go ahead and put them in. There you have it. And then from there, you put your clock battery back in. So let's do it. But first, we need to make sure we get this right. It says this is the upside. This is not. Let's pop it out. Wow. Look at that. And it's nice little tray. Look at this, new old stock, I love it. Opening it up, there it is. There's the module. And it says 256K on the back there, so that's what it looks like. And as I noted, they kind of daisy chained together. So there are your prongs and there's your connector. So the only thing we have left to do is to install this and we'll be on our way. So rather than use a screwdriver, I'm going to do what the instruction says and actually use a coin. So let's give this a shot. So we've got one tab here. If we push this in like so, 
It should just pop right up. I'll go ahead and lift it up a little bit. And then over on the other side, we can do the same. Oops, except for I just pushed the other side down. This could be a bit of a game of whack-a-mole if I'm not careful. There we go. So with that, the keyboard just kind of lifts right out. And if we look inside, we can see all the different memory modules. And if we count them up, we can see that we've got four different modules that are in here already. So we're just going to go ahead and pop one of those out. And we're going to pop in a 256K module. Let's do it. So let me go ahead and pop a module out. It's going to be very careful because, as you can all imagine, this has been around for a while. So we're going to use the least amount of force possible to get a module out. And luckily, it doesn't look like I broke it, so that's good. Yep, we're still intact. So there we have it. We've pulled out this module here, and it should be 128 kilobytes, I believe. So let's put in the 256K module. Here it is. Kind of snaps in place. And actually, it looks like we can test it without even snapping it in place. I haven't snapped it in place yet. So let's go ahead and give it a power on test and, and see it count up. Looks like we're all sorts of connected. Let's give it a test. Looks like we've reached the full 640 kilobytes, just like we were hoping for. So I'm going to consider this upgraded. I'm going to go ahead and power it down and snap that memory module into place. And we'll put the keyboard right back up. So here we go. Going to very gently snap this into place. Looks like we didn't break any clips, so we're going to call that a success. And we'll go ahead and put the keyboard back. Helps if we take the quarter out. All right, I think that we're, we're set in place. Let's see if we can fold it down and close it. Looks good. Let's go ahead and do another power on and see how we did. So with the machine all booted up here, let's see what we can use as a test. I've got four or so games on here that I think I copied onto these uh, two floppies you see here. Let's uh, try out good old uh, Card Sharks, which, as you know, I love <laughs> from past videos. And while that loads, I think I'm going to take this other module and uh, put it away for safekeeping. Looks like Card Sharks is loaded up. And it looks like it's working, so I think that's a good sign. So with that all wrapped up, I thought I'd show you a couple of accessories I have for the PC convertible. I do have this parallel port add-on, and you can see that this kind of works similar to the PC Junior in that you daisy chain these. So there's a connector in the back and a connector in the front, and you can basically increase the length <laughs> of your PC convertible by adding these. You would just go ahead and plug that in there. I'm not going to do it while it's on. I don't know if that's supported. And if you're wondering what this door is for, I think once again it's for the, uh, the battery, which I don't believe I have one, but uh, that's where that would go. Um, so that's kind of cool. We'll go ahead and put that back in place. So that's one thing I have. Uh, don't have much of a need to hook up a parallel port, so I can't say I've ever hooked it up or even tested it. Maybe I should. That's that. And of course, I've got a, uh, a strap for, uh, for the bag, so that's good as well. Looks like it's uh, seen some rubber bands or something that have fallen apart there, but it looks new. It looks like it's never been used. Also have these for transport, which is kind of cool, a head protector. And I have one for each drive so that if we ever want to take this on the road somewhere, we definitely can. And we also have a cigarette light adapter so that we could use this in the car. Imagine that, using your PC convertible in the car, sitting on your lap, right? You could pound out a couple of term papers or something. And this is really, really cool, and it does say keep with PC, so we will be very sure to follow those directions. But this is a guide to operations for the PC convertible with the startup diskette. Look at that. So this is just 
spectacularly cool. I am so excited that I have this. Uh, wow. So, and look at it, it looks brand new. So that's also really exciting. So all in all, that's really kind of a cool little machine that we have here. All right, so that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a fun little machine, I really like it. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel, there's more to come. Uh, ring that notification bell and you'll get notified of upcoming videos. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That helps us decide what sort of content we make in the future. Uh, other than that, we'll uh, certainly see you next time. Bye-bye.